Coast to Coast Pick 5. $1 minimum. Player friendly 15% takeout. Coast to Coast Pick 5. One of the best bets in racing each and every week is that Coast to Coast Pick 5. Now, this wager is every Saturday and every Sunday. It combines races from Gulfstream Park in Santa Anita, and you can get free DRF pass performances when you play that Coast to Coast Pick 5. It has a $1 base minimum and a 15% low takeout. It is player-friendly. And this week on Saturday, we're actually going to have all stakes races for the races that combine Santa Anita and Gulfstream Park. It's Holy Bull Day at Gulfstream Park. It's the Robert Lewis as the Kentucky Derby prep over at Santa Anita. Let's take a look at the ticket that I've put together for the Saturday sequence. I'm going to play one for 48 bucks. It could be a little bit formful because keep in mind, in this sequence, you will have Fierceness, the two-year-old champ. You'll also have Nysos, and they will both be very, very short prices in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to single Nysos. I'll try to use one other along with Fierceness. I don't want to spend a whole heck of a lot on this ticket in case it does get a little bit formful late. So let's talk you through the sequence here, starting at Gulfstream Park in race number 10. This is the race where I will uh, spread out a little bit. I'm going to use two, five, six, and seven. I like Fiona's magic a little bit. She was down in the two path battling for the lead last time out. And she put that pace rival away, and she drew off. I like the fact that she's shown nice progression in her last couple starts, and she's gone from five to six to six and a half. Stretching out to seven should be nice for her. I think Nikitas could get a very nice trip in here as well. Last two races were both sneaky, sneaky good. Scalable had that awesome effort on January 4th, and that was the first start of her three-year-old season. I think the wild card is with water and sand on the outside who's trying dirt for the first time but remember that's a grade three winner two five six and seven trying to get out of that first leg of the coast to coast pick five we move from Gulfstream park over to santa anita for the grade three megahertz that's going to go as race four on the santa anita card that's the second leg of our coast to coast pick five sequence and you may not find a race this year that has less early speed in it. Chloe, let's show them this pace projector that we have, the Timeform US pace projector. Now, there is no speed at all on paper. You can see, they say no speed in this race. You can see the icicles forming over the numbers of the horses there. I think you have to use the horses that you feel like will be forwardly placed. And one of them is Bella Bell. She's sharp, uh, she's fresh, she was sharp before, she went to the bench, and I think because that, she's going to be forwardly placed in here. I actually think the one Moffy might be a little closer than Timeform US thinks, so I'm going to throw Moffy in as well. I'm going to include the six Nadette, who is coming out of a sprint race, so that may have sharpened her speed up a little bit. So I will use one, four, and six, but I will make a note that I'm sitting here in Southern California right now, and it is absolutely pouring a couple days out from this coast to coast pick five. So keep an eye on weather because some of these races in Southern California may have scratches and surface changes like this megahertz, which is a mile on the turf. One, four, six. Let's bounce back to Gulfstream Park for race 11. This one is the kitten's joy. I'm going to use two horses in here. The four, Agate Road, and the six, First World War. My top pick is the six, First World War, and we have some video to show you on First World War. This was the last time that... He was on the turf, and he was the number 12 in here. And what you'll notice is he had a really tough trip. He got parked way out wide. Look at him trying to get over and save some ground. But going into the first turn, he's hooked out four wide. He's out in the four path. So First World War never really had much of a shot in that race. I still thought he ran exceptionally well to finish fourth, only beaten a, a length and a half for all the money. Agate Road got a nice prep race out of the way. He uh, got his first start in a few months on January the 6th. He finished second. That should sharpen him up. I think First World War will sit pretty close in here, too. There's not much speed in this race. Four and six. We're going to try to beat Noted. Can't use all the favorites in every single race along the way, especially as we move to race five at Santa Anita, the Bob Lewis. This might be the heaviest favorite in the sequence here with the number six, Nysos, who has raced twice. Both of those wins were awesome. One of them was right here in the Bob Hope at Del Mar last time out. We see him striking the front, and it's just a matter of how far they want to win by. He ends up 
victorious by eight plus lengths. He won his debut by 10 and he has earned 96 and 97 buyer speed figures in his two races so far. He's been awesome. And I just can't find another exciting prospect to try to take a shot against him in this race. So for me, I'll be a, a chalk eating weasel here. I'm just going to single Nysos and we'll move along to the Holy Bull and we'll try to close this thing out with fierceness or with Inveigled. The number two, who I think is a little sneaky in here. Inveigled was in the Mucho Macho Man last time out and you'll see him way on the outside here. He actually had to angle out after getting shuffled down on the inside, he had nowhere to go. So he was inside, had to tip all the way to the outside, and look at him really closing down the middle of the track. If he just got a better trip that day, he absolutely could have won. And if you're looking at this race and trying to take a shot against Fierceness, my idea is maybe for Fierceness, this is just a starting point. For Fierceness, they have bigger plans. They want to make sure that horse is ready to rock for the first Saturday in May. He does not need to be at his absolute best for this Saturday's Holy Bull. And if that's the case, a horse like Inveigled, who's a little bit sneaky, has some speed, who can sit off and pass horses, I think you may want to throw him in that coast-to-coast -coast pick five. But if it does come, Nysos and Fierceness in those last two probably won't pay all that much. That's why in the first few races, you want to take a real interesting look at your approach. So you can't use favorite, favorite, favorite all the way through. I'm going to try to get some prices early. I'll also throw in Inveigled in race number 12 at Gulfstream Park. It's a $48 ticket, and every Saturday and Sunday, this Coast to Coast Pick 5 is available for you to play. Gulfstream and at Santa Anita, you can make your wagers with DRF bets. Very happy to be talking some Gulfstream and Santa Anita with you, and I will be back again on Sunday with another Coast to Coast Pick 5 ticket. Good luck to everyone on Saturday.